Can you send emails with attachments in Braze? Yes. Is it a little bit tricky? Yes. Will this tutorial cover everything you need to know? Yes. What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at For Now Marketing, and welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, if you have any questions, whether you are currently using Braze or are considering using Braze, please feel free to reach out. You can find these addresses and more in the YouTube description below. Today, we are going to talk through how to send emails with attachments in Brace. Let's get started. Before we get started, there's one feature we need to talk about. Most of us are used to working with Brace email campaigns that are actually built inside the dashboard. Well, of course, the email campaign is built inside the dashboard. What are you talking about? Well, there is a feature called API only campaign which allows Braze users to send messages from your dashboard strictly through the API without ever having to create a campaign inside the dashboard. And it is only through the API only campaign that we are able to create and send emails with attachments in Braze. Most of the times it would be best to go through your engineering team to launch this email campaign with an attachment. However, we'll walk through what the process looks like using Braze webhooks. And you can also send this video to your engineering team to be used as a guide if they choose to launch it outside of Brace. First, let's create an API key, which we will use later in our setup. So navigate to settings, APIs and identifiers, create new API key. And I'm going to title this messages send. And that's in the scroll down just a little bit messages send. And then we'll scroll down all the way to the bottom and click save API key. Now we will be using this messages send API key that we just created in the next step. So hold on to this one. Next, let's create a webhook campaign. So navigate to the campaigns page and we will create a new webhook campaign. So campaign webhook, I'll call this send email with attachment demo. We'll create a blank webhook and Fill in the webhook URL with one of the following URLs that you can find in the dashboard. Uh, my, my webhook URL will be this one. And then for now, let's just briefly navigate to the settings page and add new pair twice. The first one's going to be content dash type. The value would be application slash JSON. The second one is authorization and the value will be bare. And the API key that we created on the previous page, I will copy this and then put it here with the space. Um, for now, I will just fill it with your API key as a dummy key placeholder. And then finally, let's go back to our compose tab and we're gonna change the request body to raw text and then copy and paste the snippet, which will also be found in the description below. Let's go over a few of these fields together. Uh, we're mainly working through the email object, which is the email object is from this to this, it's this highlighted portion. So that is what we call the email object inside Brace. Actually, it's all the way down to here. Um, and first of all, I'm personally going to hard code my external ID. So I am going to, to include my own external ID, which is, and that is my external ID. But of course, I'll be only sending a single test email to my own user profile. However, if you do plan on launching this to a wider audience, then be sure to make this external ID dynamic to the recipient. Next, let's talk about the app ID, which can be a bit confusing and hard to find, but navigate back to settings and API identifiers, and you can use any one of the identifiers found under the app name and identification section. Yes, it does not matter which one you use, as long as you use one app ID that is associated with your dashboard. So I personally use the web identifier, but if I use the TV Kindle identifier, that would also work. The from field, which is the from email address that you're gonna be using, has to match the exact format, display name, and the left caret, the email address, and the closing caret. And it has to match that format exactly. You can also see that from the documentation page um, under the email object, which you can find right here in the format right here. And lastly, the attachment object has two fields. We have the file name, which will not include the extension. So do not put .pdf on the file name. And URL is the other field which we need to access the attachment. So that means your attachment does need to be hosted somewhere and be accessible via a URL. 
Once you're ready, go to the test tab, click send test. And this is the test email that I received with my subject. This is my subject, the body, this is my body. And if you look at the PDF file, sample dummy PDF file with the .PDF portion generated by Brace automatically, and then click on the file, the actual PDF file that I included in the email object. That's it for today. As always, if you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. If you learned something from this video, please subscribe for more awesome Braze videos in the future. Thanks for watching and see you next time.